Hi, I'm Chemistry Colleen. Welcome to my camper. Oh, no, 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 not that camper. That's a model of a camper. Welcome to this camper. Welcome to this camper. Yeah, this is my camper, Chemistry Colleen's camper. Do you want to come inside and learn a little bit of chemistry and a lot of science? Yeah. Hey, come on in, friends. Don't forget your apron. Wait, what's that? Oh, thank you for the reminder. Don't forget your apron. I'll bring it inside with me and be sure to put it on. Come on inside. And parents, guess what? Chemistry Colleen's lessons can be done in a small space or a big space. Like, for example, we're in my camper because all of our lessons can be done while you're on the road. That's right, whether you're traveling the world in an RV or in a boat or I don't know, even in a tree house. All of my lessons can be done wherever you are, there's science. So let's go. And I love this small space just to show you all about models of the atom. Hmm, do you remember when I said this is a model of my camper? What is a model? I know, I know, you might think high fashion, New York runway. No, 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 not that kind of model. Scientists use models all the time to describe something really, really, really big that we can't see the whole thing. So we use something like, oh, <laughs> we use this. What is this a model of? The global. Yeah, this is a globe or this is a model of the world. And we use this so we can see all kinds of things. Like I can see on this model that this is an ocean between Africa and South America. And it's called the Atlantic Ocean. So models give us all kinds of great information without having to fly to the moon. If I wanted to see this model of the Earth in real time, I would have to fly to the moon. This way I can just look at it, plus I can play with it in my swimming pool when we go outside. So this is a model of something that's really big. And guess what? We can also use models for things that are teeny, 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 say it with me. Teeny, 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 teeny tiny, almost invisible, pretty much invisible. And that is a model of the atom. So let's see what I have in my kitchen that might be a really good model of an atom. I'll meet you in the kitchen. Mm. Okay, you know what ice cream reminds me of? And you know what this Sunday needs? This Sunday needs some whipped cream. And you know why that's so awesome? Because whipped cream is a great model of an atom. An atom is A T O M, spells atom. So let's get the whipped cream before this thing starts melting. Hold on, hold on. Look at my fridge. Okay. The reason why this is such a good model of an atom. Whoa, look at that. Ooh, yeah, we need a lot of it. Is because an atom, like whipped cream, is a big, fluffy, empty space like a cloud. And this looks like a cloud. An atom has different parts. And the one part that's this big part all around it is called an electron cloud. You know what a cloud is, and this looks like a cloud, right? But an electron is a teeny, 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 teeny particle. Wait, I think I have something that makes good electrons. Hmm, let me see, yep, I do. I have some teeny, tiny candies. So if I take one, two, count with me, I'm gonna count to 10, Three, four, what number are we on? Five. Oh yeah, five, six, seven, eight. What comes after eight? Nine. Oh, thanks, nine. Nine, 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 
and 10. ten. Do you see those 10 electrons? That means that this is an atom of neon. Yeah, yeah, like the bright colors neon, but there's an element called neon, and neon has 10 electrons in its electron cloud. Neon, like, like, like a neon sign. Yeah, that's it. That's an atom of neon with 10 electrons. Isn't that so cool? We'll learn about that more in another episode when we learn about the periodic table. But there's one more part. There's a delicious part inside this atom and it's called the nucleus. Nucleus, nucleus. Okay, and it's bigger. So let me see what I have for that. Ta-da! This, can you see that this is bigger? This is the nucleus and it's buried inside the electron cloud. And it has these things called protons and neutrons. Let's just, let's that. there you go. Our nucleus is in the middle of our atom. We've got our electron cloud and we have all our electrons just randomly spinning around in there. And you guys, this is the best model of an atom. So next time you're thinking about an atom of anything, know that it looks like this. All right, you guys, I cannot wait another second. I have to dig into this. Doesn't this look so good? Here we go. Oh, everything's going everywhere. Mm. A special thank you to Little Anthony's Diner in Tucson, Arizona for letting us use their camper, the Pink Flamingo. Hi, friends. Meet us on the next episode of Chemistry Colleen. We're going to be driving out to the desert to see all kinds of cool critters, cactuses, and learn some great chemistry. See you periodically.